what we're doing here is showing you how to do two things. One is add a discount code to Shopify and the other is how to update the uh, response letters that users get from MailChimp when they sign up. The reason we're doing this all together is it's something you might want to do to provide users with a discount code in their sign up email or to otherwise customize the information you're providing via MailChimp. So what we're going to do, first of all, we've gone into Shopify and we've gone to discounts on the left here. Uh, now that may be under online store later or it may just still be under discounts. So we'll add a discount and we'll say free March shipping, for example. And how many times can it be used? Well, it can be used by anybody who signs up, so no limit. And we'll say free shipping for any shipping. Okay, so on shipping, say up to $100. And that's where the shipping costs $100, not where the product costs $100. And we'll say, okay, well, it's only for the free shipping for the next month or so. So let's end it here. Always good to put an expiration date on a discount. That way you haven't got an, a liability lying around. Just make sure you also explain it in the small print of your advertisement. Okay, save discount. And we will just make sure it saves successfully. There we go. We've copied the title. We've gone into MailChimp. And we're going to go, we've gone into lists. Um, this is our list. Okay. Now we're going to go, it doesn't, it's not terribly obvious, but you want to be under sign up forms because there's more than sign up forms under sign up forms. And here under general form, you'll see where it's you can edit your response emails. So we'll go into general forms and hidden under this gray drop down here is a list of all the forms. So the sign up form, that's what they get when they actually click the sign up button. So what we'd want to do, and it's good to go through and just see what each of these are, but um, the one we want here is the sign up thank you page. Um, oh, not quite, hang on. We want the sign up opt-in confirmation email, sorry. One more beyond that even. Okay, the opt-in confirmation thank you page. That's it. It's not the sign-up thank you page. It's the confirmation thank you page after they've been through the opt-in process. Uh, just double-check. Yes, we are in the confirmation thank you page. Your subscription to ours is okay. Um, and this is where you would edit it and say um, to thank you for signing up. Thank you for joining our mailing list. Here is a discount code for free shipping on your first order or next order, if they may have ordered before. Um, it is valid until whenever you set the validity. So in this case, say 30 line. Six line 15. I think that's what I set it to. Um, there's your code. Let's make it bold so they can see it. Maybe give it a bit of color to match our livery. Oh, just colored the background, not the text. That wasn't so good. Free shipping. Save and close. And then if you test it, you can sign up and you'll see that in the final confirmation email, you'll get your free shipping. And that is how you add a code to your uh, emails. And it's also where you can edit any of the information you want to in the emails that MailChimp sends regarding the sign-up process. So just as a reminder, under lists, sign-up forms, general forms, and then in the drop down here. And those are all your choices. And you can also edit the unsubscribes and the update profile. So there's all, lots of different emails that MailChimp will send out, and you've got a lot of control over what goes in there. There you go. Happy MailChimping.